This is David Mem Vlado Odds. It is June 30th, 2023. Okay, going to give you an update on uh, what we added to Lotto Odds. Um, I'm going to show you uh, an example of how it makes Lotto Odds more powerful and to get you winners with very few numbers. Um, and then I'm going to discuss what we're doing uh, in the future and now, actually now and the future development. Um, all right, so basically we just added this. I'm going to show you. I'm actually um, on the test site right now. So uh, <clears throat> you're going to see this, okay, when we upload it. Right now you, you see the symbols, okay, here on the hit and miss. But we're going to create um, all the color coding. Uh, the purple and the green and you're going to see a w or an m in front of it this is going to mimic this the hit and miss chart which is very important okay so you'll see a w or a miss like that that deals with the pairs the past three winners the pairs of the past three winners you should already know that by now and i'm going to show you why this makes it so important for you to identify what the next pattern would be, or I should say, pair would be that would win. Okay? We also added here to here to the history page. So you'll see them in history page like this. The, the color coding here, the full color coding, you're going to get it, um, should be released today. Uh, if not, um, then by Monday. But it should be released today. Try to release it today. Um, so you see the color coding as well here. It makes it easy to view, okay? The wins are the purple, and the misses are the greens right there, okay? The color is irrelevant. It's just um, just to, so you can see them better, all right? Now, we also added this here. We added the miss option. So here, now you have the miss win and miss option. What are those? right here on the hit and miss column see you got the win and miss see you got the win and miss that's what they relate to okay so now you can catch winners by either going with the win or going with the miss and this relates to this as well all down here the wins or the miss so if, for example if you see something like this win 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 okay you think high probability miss is going to come out so what do you play the next draw you play the miss numbers right there, okay? See, so that's how that helps. Now, let me show you how this really makes things more powerful for you, and how you can helps you choose the next pair that will come will win next. Um, and this is the same thing for this. Now, I do have to mention that there are some errors currently with these symbols with the miss here. That we are correcting, I'm going to show you um, like this. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, bear with me a second. <clears throat> Let me just grab the winner that I just posted here. Okay, <clears throat> so the the errors are this. Um, here you see with the column with the misses so it was the wrong pair symbols with it so we're correcting that now so it's not a big deal all right but now let me show you the power of it so um, the power of that column um, here so I posted a super hot mixed play alert and the way I grabbed the numbers was look at this I saw this one two three four, five, six, seven. Do you see any similar um, pair, okay, symbol that comes out in each one of these? Look, it's the F. F, 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 F. It's the front pair, okay? It's the front pair. So what? what's the high probability? What will come out next, do you think, when you see something like this? It's either a back or a split, a back or a split. Now, if you are working 
with if you're working with doubles, and I'm going to show you in in, the, in a minute, um, the only possible winner here when you see something like this, high probability, would be a back, not a split, because doubles only work with backs, back or front, back or front. So you'll see either FSB, FBS, or front or back. But if you see something like this with all these fronts included in there, the only possibility, high probability, would be a back that would hit with the doubles. Okay? So anyway, with this here, I was able to bring it down because I saw this hit. I told you it was a back or a split that could come out. So I started out with 38 numbers, right? I reduced it down to 38 numbers from 220 numbers. Then I was able to look at what I could reduce additionally. So there was three sections that I could reduce addition, additional reductions. Took it down from 38 numbers to four numbers. Four numbers only. Okay, and right there, 478, 678, 456, 458. Okay, and the winner was one of the four numbers, 478. Okay, it was $4 to win $150. All right, now let me show you how it would work when you see, when you're working, say, for example, with doubles, okay, uh, which is my favorite, okay, so here, now, you see something like this, I'm looking at Texas, and this is an example here, and also, these are the errors with the uh, miss symbols, misses here, and uh, the pair symbols are incorrect, so they got to be corrected, and we're doing that now, now, you saw something like this. See that FSB? Let's see the F's in there? The front pairs? See that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in a row, and you're working doubles. And you think that a double may come out next. The only, the high probability, and only probability for a double after you see something like this, if this is gonna flip, it only can be a B, a back pair. That's right. So if you did that, if you isolated the doubles like that, okay, and you took out everything else but left the back, you would have only seven numbers left. From 220 numbers, you only have seven numbers left for the win. See, for the win symbol, win. See the purple, win. Okay, now if you look at the, the miss, if now you flip it and you choose the option miss, we'll show you you'll have 18 numbers left. 18, the winner is right there. 288 the winner and what was it it was a miss with the back see a miss with the back okay now look at this and you could even look at this when you when you isolate the, the doubles you could even see the f is coming out back to back and these are errors too see that we're correcting that but it would have been f here and okay so it was be one two three four five six fronts included in here six of them High probability when another double comes out, it'll be a what? A back. Can't be a split because no split or um, no split is connected with the, the doubles. Only back and front. Okay? And, and when I say back and front, here with the FSB, you have the back and front. FBS, you have the back and front. So only those two can be connected with the doubles. So the only double that could come out now, here, after you see all these Fs, is a B. Okay, and that was the winner right there. Okay, now when you have 18 numbers like this, okay, you reduced it easily by looking at here the symbols here, right? Um, but you can do you can utilize the filters here to reduce them even more. For example, here's the 18 numbers here, right? And these are all double numbers. Okay, you can reduce them by looking at this the hit and miss chart to see what would be next. So you see miss here, and you see you believe that a hit's going to come out, and you know what a hit means. The first digit, low first digit, would be either 0, 1, 2, or 3. Or if it's a high first digit, it will be only a 6 or 8, guaranteed if it's a hit. So you can reduce it that way, or you could reduce it and try to be more safer and try to pick one of these pairs on the doubles. And remember, remember when you work on the doubles, when you isolate the double numbers, and you pick your numbers from here, and then you utilize these other patterns to reduce the numbers, 
You never have to change the numbers you chose. You never have to change, for example, these 18 numbers you picked until another double hits here. Because these patterns don't change. They only change when another double hits. Okay? But remember, if you're working with the doubles and then you turn around and you start going on level 1, the default level, and start using these patterns to reduce them, they're based on each draw. The patterns change each draw. you got to now redo your numbers. Okay? So I'd say it's best to stay on the double page here. Grab your numbers and keep playing them. All right? Um, and let's see here. So I would reduce, say... How about three? This was the number right there. It was 288, the winner. So we were looking at something like that. So if you reduce 388, 33. So that's one, two, three. From here, three, three. And then the majority of the winners tend to be, you know, low, high, high, or low, low, high. So if you looked at that and said, you know what? I see low, low here, right? And a whole bunch of low, low here. So I don't see a high, but I believe that one of these may still come out, okay? And if I look at the front, just to give me an idea what the next draw may be, all right? Low, high, high. Well, for the sake of this argument, I'd say, because a high could, come, could, could have come out, I'd say if you did something like this, took out the low and the high, high, you're down to nine numbers, the winner's still there. Okay, but you have an option to choose any other what you feel is as a low probability would repeat, right? You'd have a low probability that repeat. For example, you see a T here. Okay, or, you know, let's look at this, something like this. See here, this is repeat. That's what you got to watch out for when you're reducing these things. <clears throat> low, low, double, double. You could take that out because you have double L's here. So you could do something like that, double L's, take that out, take that out, down to 12 numbers, and whatever. So it's up to you uh, what you feel. I right? know if I took something like that out, like that, I take those two out, eight numbers, to get a third one, three numbers. Let's see here, 288. Yeah, you just got to be careful when reducing numbers. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. So... That's what we've done so far, um, and once we correct these here, um, you can start utilizing them to do what I just did, to grab four numbers and wind up winning, all right? And the next thing for the future, what we're going to do, we are going to create the upgrade here where you'll be able to choose um, options here based on this chart, like here, hit, miss, or hit, win, or miss, miss, like that, and the program would automatically reduce the number, the numbers for you. For example, um, if you think it's going to be the next draw from here, if you saw miss, miss, and you think it was going to be like a, a hit, win, something like that, hit, win, then you choose the option, hit, win, that's all, and then it will auto-reduce the numbers for you. And if you see something like this, something like that, hold on. Well, that's a bug. i got to fix that. If you see something like this, back-to-back, -back, right? Fs, and you think a, a, a back is going to hit with the double, then you could also reduce it with the double on your own. Okay, I wish you the best.